hello and welcome in this video we are going to uh, check how to add another user uh, to your Windows 11 machine I really should bring that uh, my computer back up here but let's find out my uh, users first we will go to the settings from settings we will click accounts so notice that it uh, does not say users anymore it says accounts and you can see access worker school family or other your info so your info is yours uh, family and others is uh, other users you can use uh, like add a family member or child that is not add another user here or you can you know uh, make it a kiosk we are interested only in add an account now uh, this is asking for Microsoft account we're gonna say I don't have this person sign in information but just in case if you know just type in their email you don't have to set up any password or anything they will be prompted to enter the password since we are not going through Microsoft account route we just want somebody uh, without a Microsoft account like a local user we will just type in their name now I believe first uh, user is uh, I don't know uh, my son keeps changing things around uh, let's say my name and hopefully uh, let's say my and we can we can type in a password let's see nope I was thinking that I might have pressed a key twice there and it's asking me to set up these uh, questions that I'm not interested interested but it's forcing me let me set the quickly set those up all right, so I set it up. Uh, you can see the other local account is uh, right there. So on the login screen, I should have the that account. We can exit out of the settings or users. And uh, oh, I keep going over there for the uh, start menu, but it says moved over here. I believe there should be a way of changing these um, tasks bar button probably in personalization and the taskbar oh no there was a start button there uh, where's the back button back and you can see start right here and you can see hmm it looks like the probably in the next video let's go just uh, sign out of here so this account is Emron we sign out of here there's a dot on the power button as well so probably a, a, an, uh, a pending update all right so you can see I have Emron but uh, where is the other account it's uh, accessibility Okay, the password is incorrect. No. Network. That is accessibility. So, surprisingly, I don't see the. <laughs> hmm. Let's restart it all together. Normally this uh, type of behavior when you see the name already in place is when uh, you uh, when you're locked out of your computer and when you're restarting or when you're logging out it should let you type in your username as well. That is not the case. Maybe is just uh, not implemented yet but yeah you can see now I have my other name right there I can click on it I can enter the password that I forgot 
hopefully this is the right one design remotely you need the right design in the remote desktop service okay again it's not working something to do with the probably this basic session we enable the basic session and click go unless it's going through yep so enhanced session uh, does not work right off the box uh, so you have to go through this step making it basic session and then it works uh, start working for you now enhanced session is much better you can uh, actually uh, resize this uh, virtual machine screen just like a normal browser window you would uh, but uh, for some reason, uh, in our session, is not letting me sign in. Hopefully, once signed in, it will set up its, uh, uh, its you know security identifi uh, identifiers and all that, and then we'll be able to log in. Uh, as it is, let's go accept, and I have the screen there. Now let's see if we can go to enhance session. Let's type in the password again. Nope. So I am guessing that strange. But there, uh, let's go with this one. Yeah. So I'm guessing I used to uh, have a whole setup uh, with the server. I'm not sure if the some file still uh, in the back end left over somewhere. But anyways, that's how you add a user. Uh, to Windows 11 maybe it's just buggy and not working whatever the case may be uh, we were successfully able to add a user uh, in the next video we'll do some real cool stuff with uh, EFS stay tuned for that video for this let's wrap it here I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one